Hey, what is up, my friends? I'm Toby Wayne. This is Toby Wayne Studio. So I am starting out on my very first armature, and I've decided that what I've done to give myself kind of a template is I went in onto Google and I typed in human form uh, template, and this is what it gave me. I printed, you know, I just printed out this human form. This is just kind of a go by um, to kind of tell me, you know, size and kind of reference. Um, I've got myself some armature wire here, um, and I'm realizing that this stuff is probably too big for this uh, armature here that I'm working on. But basically what I just did was I went in and I, I uh, figured out my shoulders, my um, collarbone, my elbows, knees, and my ankles, and I just went in and cut the length of the wire that I need uh, to give myself that... Um, that support in there. So I just went ahead and, uh, you know, got a length of wire, laid it in there, bent it, and then got it to right where I'm needing it uh, for the support here. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, angle that leg out a little bit there. Um, and then you just mirror it. You get yourself your second uh, wire and you just match that length. Um, and then just bend it to how whatever shape you're looking for. This is just to give us a little bit of um, you know support for our for our magic sculpt or our clay or whatever it is that we're going to use. Um, it's just going to give us a little bit of uh, support. So let's go ahead and kind of take the shapes of what it is that we're looking for here and. This is uh, fairly new to me. I don't normally do this. So, you know, if anybody out there uh, has any more ideas or a better way to do this, please let me know in the comment section below or message me, get a hold of me, whatever, however you want to do it. Um, I'm always open for, uh, you know, instructions and to learn, you know, because that's, I'm sharing what I know. So if you know something you want to share with me, by all means, let me know. And I am more than happy to learn. So there's our um, there's our wire armature, and this is just kind of gonna give us a shape. So now what I can do is I can come in with my um, smaller wire. I got a thin gauge wire here. So let's go ahead and break this open. Snip this loose because it looks like it's been, it's got some sort of a plastic zip tie on there. There we go. Go ahead and free this. All right. So to start, I'm just going to cut myself off. Just a tiny little bit. And I'm going to put these two together. And I'm going to try to get these pinched so that they're straight, so that I can lock these together here. And we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to gently start to wrap this. Put his arms out to the side. And I'm hoping that this doesn't want to uh, slip around. You know what I mean? So it doesn't, uh, so I can lock it together and not have them um, pop away So uh, from each other. I'm just going to kind of get this started with this small end. All right. Now we're going to start taking shape. This is going to hold the two sides together, of course. Okay, I'm going to crimp, 
crimp this little wire. Pinch it in there as best I can. Okay, so there's our, our center structure or for our torso. Then we can come in and re reshape these however we want as far as getting them into the proper form. Very good at this wire armature stuff. <laughs> yeah, see, this is what I was concerned about is the fact that it wiggles around like that. So I'm going to just go ahead and do another little piece. ahead and work its way up to the top here. Kind of pinch this off up here. Let's go ahead and bring it up. And I'm sorry, this first video is going to be boring as I'll get out, I'm sure, but this is just the way that it goes for this first one, huh? And I'm just going to make sure that that's on there pretty, pretty snug. And I always want to be careful with these little wires because they want to have a tendency to stick cause stick your fingers because they're sharp so always be careful about stuff like that okay okay well and then I'm gonna kind of give myself a little bit of a hip on the leg hip and the leg. And I'm thinking I may I may actually end up pulling this up here really quick. Actually give kind of like a hip bone. All right, there we go. A little better. Get some good, uh, get a good tweak in here, and get this bent. There we go. That's more like it. Okay. <laughs> hey, and that actually lined up. I can't believe it. It's a miracle. All right, folks. I think I think that is going to be the start of our little wire armature. This kind of gives us a good idea of where things are going to go and how we're going to how we're going to get there <laughs> all right Okay, 
I think that's good enough, my friends. So this is going to give us our frame. That was a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> and it's still not 100%, you know, great, but it's, you know, it is what it is. Um, so what I can do also is I can get myself a little... Um, a little headpiece here if I really wanted it. Uh, maybe I will just kind of put myself a little, give myself something to work with here. And I'm going to use this dowel as kind of a, a bending mechanism here. Okay, so that could be that could be our head. Although, you know, I got to tell you, I'm not sure if I really want to do that or not right now as far as uh, giving it the loop. Maybe I'll just put like a little piece of wire up there. I think that's what I'm going to do because I'm going to have a tendency, I'm sure, that I'm going to want to uh, snip this off and re-sculpt the head at, at a different time or, you know, however this works. And like I said, there's this is just my, my kind of my first shot at doing an armature um, and so I, I don't I don't want to try to limit my or you know box myself into a corner um, so let's go ahead and let's get um, some more wire out here and then that way I can cut this off if I if I want to I may end up having to re-sculpt this in, in pieces or something. I'm not sure just yet, but we'll see. So, we're going to go ahead and connect this piece to the torso. And this will just give me my neck and my head that I can work with. Crimp, crimp that little beast on there. Okay, so now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to really reinforce that there to make sure that uh, I get my uh, get my neck and my shoulders and everything connected proper. I can get a hold of that piece of wire. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping it up and around. Really lock that in place so it doesn't move around on me. And once I get this armature to the way that I want it, I will be able to um, also just apply Magic Sculpt around it, and then that will totally lock it in. Like, there's no way that that thing is going to be moving around. So, so that'll be nice. Okay, let's go ahead and attach a little bit of wire down here. And also, I'm probably going to end up putting tin foil around this as well to kind of block in the body shape. So once that gets going, then it'll, it'll be locked in pretty good. Okay. So this is not, by any stretch of the imagination, the prettiest or the best <laughs> looking armature, I think, but uh, it will work. All right. Okay. 
So that gives us something to work with. This video has been terrible. <laughs> it's been a very boring video. Um, I wish I could have done it better for everybody, but uh, I have no idea really what I do, uh, what I'm doing. I've just basic, uh, kind of a basic knowledge and understanding. And, and in, like I said in the past, when I've done uh, work on full arm figures or, or full body, you know, like arms and legs and stuff like that. Usually I would just sculpt them in sections and then I would just have the wire as I add to it so it supports it. But um, this is a good learning experience uh, for myself. Uh, uh, you know, please recognize and understand that, you know, there is no right or wrong, I suppose. Whatever you do, you know, to make that makes you happy with what it is that you're trying to achieve as long as you get to to the final product I guess that's all that matters but uh, also one thing I wanted to do too is I've got myself some um, super glue here and I think I'm just gonna to lightly uh, hit some of these areas that's gonna kinda just tie these together and kinda help lock them in place just the torso area and I have myself some accelerator so I'm just gonna lightly spritz this and that is going to help that uh, glue kick. Um, and that's, I can already see it starting to gel up and lock up and, and all that good stuff. So anyway, this video was rough. Uh, it was, I apologize for it being very boring at times, uh, trying to figure out how to wrap this stuff. Um, I hope somebody gained something out of this. I know I've, <laughs> I, this is a handful. This is a challenge, and I've never really done this before. It shouldn't really be that hard. I mean, this is just, just a skeleton, a substructure, but uh, there's a lot more work that goes into these than than I realized. Um, but, yeah, so that's, that's how I have started to do this. Uh, I hope this video helps. I appreciate you guys checking this video out. Uh, this is the first step in this journey of creating a statue. Um, but yeah, so anyway, thank you guys for checking this video out. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And until the next video, I'll catch you later.